guys, it's Jessie V. Do you guys see how colorful my outfit is right now? And the backdrop is also so colorful. Like there's so much going on and I love it. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about the very creepy thing three. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Dr. Seuss, especially the cat in the hat books. That was one of my favorite stories as a kid. So when I found out there was not only thing one, thing two, there was actually a thing three that no one talks about because of how creepy he is. I feel like after I do this video, you guys are never gonna wanna pick this book up ever again, and I'm so sorry. But before we get into this very interesting video, I just wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by Two Dots. Two Dots is such a fun, enjoyable puzzle game that is loved by millions of people around the world. In the game, you're able to travel through these really gorgeous different worlds. You'll collect these beautiful collectibles and uncover these fun new mechanics along the way. You'll solve challenging puzzles by connecting the dots and way more. And it's just such a relaxing game and great to play when you want to break. I've been playing this game mostly before bed, but also I just recently went on a five hour road trip and you bet this game was on the entire time. It actually really helped to pass the time. And you guys have to see the design of this game for yourself. The graphics are beautiful and you guys know how much I love art. It's just so unique and different and every button you press makes this satisfying noise. Ah, oh, it's the best. And another great thing is that you can play this game at your own pace and not have to worry about this countdown clock. So it has really helped to calm my anxiety. There's also weekly events like the scavenger hunt where you have to find items on the map and the treasure hunt where you have to complete seven special levels to unlock these really unique rewards. So like I said, Two Dots is completely free to download on iOS and Android. So I'm gonna put the link to download the game down below in the description. Go check it out, go download it, you won't regret it, it's amazing. And if you're already playing, please comment down below and tell me what level you're on. But thank you so much to Two Dots for sponsoring today's video. I cannot wait for you guys to play this game. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. Before we can talk about thing three, we have to talk about what thing one and thing two are, in case you did not know. Thing one and thing two are twins from the Cat in the Hat book. They are wearing red jumpsuits with large fluffy blue hair. And like the cat, the things are extra dimensional beings that the three of them come to the land of humans to amuse the children of the world. They were released from a red box that the cat brought in to introduce to Conrad, Sally, and the fish. But they ended up causing mischief by flying kites into the house, which bumped the walls and also knocked everything down in their path. But Conrad was able to stop the things with the net. And then they were taken away by the cat who put them back into the box to stop all of the chaos. Now, I always thought that there was only a thing one, a thing two, and no others. But apparently in the Dr. Seuss world, there is a thing three and a thing four, just in case the cat ever needs any extra help, which I suppose is pretty useful. But what if I told you that there are some pretty creepy legends about thing three? Things that would make you never ever want to meet him. The story I'm about to tell you is called The Hiding Spot. This legend starts off with a mother reading her son the cat in the hat book every single night. It was just the book he would always request. It was like he could never ever get bored of it. And he seemed to especially like the part where the cat in the hat brought in that big red box, let out thing one and thing two. For some reason, he would just stare at each page after that for extremely long periods of time. And he wouldn't let his mom switch to the next page until he was done looking. Now she found this very strange, but she just thought that maybe he was super fascinated by the book and needed more time to look at it. Well, Halloween came around and he told his mother that he was going to dress up as one of the characters from the book. So the mother said, let me guess, either thing one or thing two. But the boy just looked at her confused and shook his head and said, no. I want to be thing three. So she just laughed at him at first and said that there was no thing three, but the boy shook his head and said that they were one of the main characters in the book. He said that on each page after the cat opens the red box, thing three is hiding somewhere in the illustrations. So the mother just thought that maybe he had a very creative imagination, but for some reason that night, she just could not get herself to sleep. She was just so curious about what her son had said, so she went 
went into his room and grabbed the book. Now the first half of the book was as she remembered, but after thing one and thing two appeared, her heart dropped. She peered around the pages after that to see this very eerie drawing of this creature crouched behind furniture in the house. It was wearing a red jumpsuit with the three on the front with this disheveled blue hair that was falling out and it had the widest grin imaginable. On one page it was hiding behind a chair, on another page it was hiding behind a bed, on another it was peering through a window, and her son was right. In order to see him you really really had to be looking, which is why most parents probably never noticed. But this is where the legend gets really really creepy because apparently Dr. Seuss didn't make him for parents to find. He did not want adults to see him, he only wanted the kids reading the book to see him. Because apparently once an adult finally sees, thing three gets very angry and there's no telling what he might do. Well, the next morning, his mother was woken up to this loud scream coming from her son's room. She jumped off the bed, ran down the hallway to find her son's room completely a mess. The furniture was overturned, his clothes were spread everywhere all over the room, the wallpaper was torn down the walls, and her son was just sitting up in bed looking at absolutely horrified. She asked him what happened and all that he could do was point across the room. The mother followed to where he was pointing and saw a shadowed figure crouched behind the chair under his desk. She could see the blue hair and the glowing whites of his teeth as he smiled. And that's how this ends. So yeah, after hearing this story, you probably shouldn't go back to look at your Cat in the Hat books. Because thing three is meant to remain there, never to be opened or unleashed. And if you ever find that one of the rooms in your house suddenly gets super messy, suddenly in disarray, I suggest you get out of there as soon as you can. And yeah, that's the end of this video. It really freaked me out because Dr. Seuss was such a big thing to me when I was a kid, especially this book. So yeah, I kind of wish I never knew about Thing 3, but I still hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to continue this series doing more creepy characters from Dr. Seuss books, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget to download the Two Dots app. I have put it down below in the description and comment which level you're on. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!